If you've been following this series, then all the background knowledge, recipes and equipment to get started will be familiar. If not, check out my How To Mix Sea Liquids playlist on my channel. So how do you mix by weight? Truth be told, there's no real right or wrong way to do everything, however this is just how I like to mix. Make sure that you're always mixing in a safe location away from children and pets with the proper safety equipment. First things first, location. You'll want a well lit area that provides a large and steady surface on which to mix. Good examples are dining room tables or kitchen worktops. Just make sure to thoroughly clean the area after mixing. This may sound stupid, but how stuff's arranged makes a difference to how efficiently you can mix. I personally like to use what I call the SFB, or the shit for Britain setup. Now I really mean scales, flavours and base. The way I do this is by having my scales at the front, and then a row of flavours behind them, and then the bases and nicotine behind that. The row of flavours is specific to the recipe I'm making, and are ordered from left to right in the order they appear in the recipe. You can see I also have a stand for holding printed recipes upright. The link for mine will be in the description, but you can also just use music stands or a folder against a wall or something. Don't try and make the recipe you see here, I literally just randomly set it up for an example in these videos. I like to place kitchen roll under everything just to make sure that any stray drops are caught. I also love to throw the components of the dropper bottles into the scales container box thing so that they are all easily accessible. This is a good time to mention plastic drop bottle bottles come in three parts. The bottle itself, the dropper and the lid. Glass drop bottles however usually only come in two parts, the glass bottle and the lid slash dropper combined into one thing. If you're using nicotine shots then you probably won't even need a pipette for adding your nicotine, however I'm, I'm still using a large bottle of nicotine I bought pre-TPD. Before you start you should make sure you have all your protective equipment on and you've calibrated your scales. Uh, and music is never a bad addition either. Into the nitty gritty mixing part. For this I'm going to be mixing sugar cookies and cream by Chris DVR1. There'll be a link to this in the description and I'm sure you'll understand that I can't show the recipe within this video. I chose this because I've never mixed it before and I had to order a few new flavours for it. If you can afford to I would seriously suggest starting to mix in 30ml bottles simply because the margin for error is larger than mixing in say a 10ml bottle. Step 1 for me is adding the flavours. Give all the flavours you're about to use a good shake for about 20 seconds each. Also I find that when you break the tamper evident part on the flavour bottles, usually the larger ones the plastic ring will slide off easily. Try and take this off first just to stop it falling off while you're using it. Now throw a new e-liquid bottle onto the scale and tear it. Then look at the recipe sheet and add the amount of grams required of each flavour. Don't worry if you go 0.1 grams under or over to start with, it doesn't have to be completely precise. I'm overly precise in case you haven't already guessed, but to be honest the only place it really matters is in the addition of nicotine. After you've added a flavour, put it back in your flavour box or somewhere out of your way, just so you know where you are. Uh, and make sure to tear your scales each time you finish adding something. And by tear, if you don't know, I just mean you zero the scales. Once all the flavours are in, then you can start the second step, adding bases. I always go to the PG first, that is assuming you're adding any, and then the VG afterwards. I love the patterns that you see in the liquid at this point, note that some liquids may be cloudy or clear or even slightly coloured. Step 3, adding the nicotine. This part is where you have to be most careful. I always leave this to last. The reasons being firstly, if I accidentally mess up the recipe, I haven't wasted any nicotine, which is quite expensive. And also because after this we'll be putting the lid on and thereby we'll have minimised the amount of time that the nicotine has been exposed to the air and, that the, and has been in the bottle which could have potentially been knocked over whilst adding other components. I am adding nicotine via pipette which is why we have these kitchen towels laid out just in case any drops land where they shouldn't. After you have finished adding the nicotine, lay the pipette on the kitchen roll and close the nicotine bottle and then seal the e-liquid bottle that you have made. When pushing the dripper in, make sure not to do it on the scales as you could damage them without realising. Step 4 is just to label the bottle. I always include 4 pieces of information on my bottle labels. First is the name of the recipe, second is the PG and VG ratio, third is the nicotine concentration and fourth is the date it was created. This last one is the one I always forget to do but it's kind of very important especially when you're learning how to steep. If you want to know what steeping is just watch the later videos in this series and we'll go through that. You may also want to write down what you made in your notes book and then you can add sort of like taste notes at certain points in time afterwards so you'll know the best steep for a certain recipe. 
And that's it, if you've made it this far, well done, you're well on your way to making your own e-liquids. You may be doing this just to make other people's and save money, or you may even want to start creating your own. Either way, keep an eye on this channel as I'll be keeping making these sort of videos with more tips and tricks to mix in. Also check out my series on which e-liquids from the community are worth making. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching.